Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I have a package and this is from Create and Craft TV um, and it's my craft buddy order or part of my craft buddy order. They've sent it in two different parts and um, they had some sales on and some members events. I'm going to unbox this and show you whatever is in this package and then at some point I will open up the other package and let you see what's in the other package. I've no idea which ones these are. I know what I ordered but I don't know what's in this package. So let me just go ahead and open this big package. Gosh, that was a struggle. And now I've got two boxes. <laughs> okay, and a couple of leaflets. Uh, looks like that's about the Crafting Live event that they've got here in the UK. Um, yeah, you can go on to craftinglive.co.uk there. Um, and that's just about, you can return if you're in the UK, you can return uh, via one of our supermarkets via Amazon. So, <laughs> a couple of leaflets. So, bear with me while I now get into the first box. to like sellotape so let's have a look at the big one first oh gosh right let's get into this big box first okay that's the end of that box and it's recycling day tomorrow so that can go in the recycling and let's have a look at this canvas. So we have a, I think it's 40 by 50. Does it say anywhere? Yeah, 40 by 50, Melody of the Night. Uh, Craft Buddy Crystal Art is fully licensed artwork and it comes all pre-framed, which is why it's in such a big box. Ready on wooden frame. Uh, it's a full drill, full crystal and it tells you here what you get and we've got all your social media and everything on the back here oops and then it tells you what you get in your package on the back and how to diamond paint in four different languages so yeah i do normally buy direct from uh, craft buddy crystal art but because I am a Create and Craft TV uh, club member, have been for uh, 15 whatever years it's been going, um, I do get 10% off my orders and they do do members events where you get extra money off your orders. So this one, um, ba -ba -da -ba -da, I think it's normally about £30. And with the discounts, I ended up getting this one for £16.20. And, and I think the postage overall was capped at something like £3 for however much you ordered. So for this and the other uh, canvases I got, um, I only paid £3 postage. So yeah, so for a pre-framed 40 by 50 canvas from Craft Buddy for £16.20, a brilliant price. We do love a bargain. Get it out of its box and have a closer look. Okay, just checking there's nothing left in there. And I'm going to clink me back. Oh, look at those colours. How wonderful is that? And I love that. What caught my eye with this one is that we've got a mini doggy here. It's got a bit long legs, but I just thought it could be me and hubby and Millie going for a walk down a nice dark autumnal street look with the street lights glowing um, and it looks like it's definitely Great Britain because it looks like it's a dull wet and rainy day <laughs> and the street lights are just giving off that orange glow and it just really caught my eye I think this is a beautiful painting I'm um, sorry I'm not sure who it's by does it say on the box I don't think it does um, if I do find out any details, I will let you know. But as I say, Craft Buddy uh, do license their art. So, you know, it will be the uh, artist will be getting uh, their money for this. Uh, let's just have a look. Oh, into plastic. That is one huge plastic bag. Goodness me. It's our drills. Lots of brilliant colours there. And Craft Buddy. Uh, crystal are resin drills 
forget our uh, little leaflet there telling us what comes in the package and just showing you a few of the other products that they do as well and then again how to diamond paint in four different languages and it's got words and pictures so however you like to uh, learn things you can either do it from your pictures or from the words sometimes a combination of both is good i do prefer pictures myself but each his own we get one of the new craft buddy branded tool kits which is wonderful let me just quickly show you these okay. Come out guys, everybody out. We all want to see what you like. <laughs> so we've got two craft buddy. I do like white with the uh, purple on. I think that looks really classy. I like that. Really fresh. And uh, yeah, like that. We've got three places on the end there and your single places, your brass tips on the end there. So everything you need to get yourself started. And I do think these are a good step up from a basic toolkit. You get your two uh, ooh, squishes or your pen grips. So they just go onto your pens there, all matching. Oh, these are tight. Just a second. There you are. And they're great if you've got sort of dexterity problems or particularly um, in hot summer, I was finding if I did just use the little pink pens or one of these pens in summer, just to have that grip, uh, if your hands get a little bit sticky from it being hot, then it just uh, helps you to grip onto the pen, which is probably why they've all pen grips. <laughs> Take that one off, pop that over there. So we have one for each pen. They're alive, these, they keep jumping all over. We've got your little pot of wax. And it's again, customised with crystal art on it. Um, do take the plastic off the top of the wax though before using it. Uh, there's a piece of plastic on either side of the wax and there's two pieces in there. So that's good. Plenty for uh, doing your painting there. There's usually around about 20 of your little grip seal bags. It does feel as though there might be a, a few more than 20 there with it being a, a bigger canvas. But I'm not going to sit and count them. You'd probably fall asleep while I did it. And then you get a little white flat bottomed boat with a spout and a little white boat, uh, which are the same size as your green, but they're just white. Ooh, got a bit of extra wax there that's just attached itself to me. Get off. It's an overly friendly kit, this. The pen grips want to run away and the wax wants to stick to me, bum bum. All right, just pop those back in there so that they can't escape. And I don't lose them. I like to keep them together. Okay. And let's have a look at this canvas. Oh, first and foremost, let's have a look at the... I have to show you it this way around because it's attached. The uh, little key code they actually put on the back. And you can see there it's telling you to cut it out with a pair of scissors. <laughs> uh, they do tend to do uh, usually letters and numbers. Looks like these are, we've got one number and then we've got a mixture of capital. Oh, we've got another letter, uh, number there, look, a number six. Oh, and a number five and a number four. So we've got a lot more than one number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we've got a mixture of capital letters and uh, small letters there as well. And there are DMC codes all the way down there as well. So what this is to do is to cut it out and have it as like um, a walking legend, a walking key code. Uh, which means it's not attached to the canvas um, and it's all ready cam uh, it's all ready frame stretched onto a frame and it does have a nice edging to it all the way around it's just that little attention to detail where it's showing you that there's no writing or anything on the edges can't really see that but there's no writing or anything along any of these edges they are all are all pardon me i'm just not speaking today they are all uh, blank and just like that plain blue just to match the canvas so it looks like a pretty clear canvas they are usually really good ones these um those letters are showing up we've got lights on darks and darks on lights so you can see your letters clearly. And it's a nice size, this one, 40 by 50. So you can reach into the middle quite easily. Um, I don't know if you've seen 
uh, my Santa Express canvas that I did was really big, pre-framed, and it was quite difficult to do because of the size of it, with it already being pre-framed, getting into the middle without sort of like knocking on your drills on the edge um, and without getting a cricked neck. Uh, it, it was a challenge, shall we say. I enjoyed doing it. The drills are really good quality. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is a little bit more manageable for when you're doing it. Uh, well, I don't like to sit on a table. I do like to have like my little lap desk um, or a little easel or something um, for when I'm down and painting. So yeah, this is set a lot better for me. And I think I may do this for my January the 1st start, um, Mindy's Diamond Moments, uh, sorry, Mindy's Diamond Moment is doing um, a theme for January of places you'd like to be. And I just thought, yeah, I would love it. I sadly hubby, hubby can't walk anymore, but uh, I would love it if myself and hubby and Millie could just be walking down that street just all snuggled up warm and cosy and yeah it looks like a lovely scene a lovely place to be we've probably just sat and had probably a little chat or a little cuddle on this bench down here if you can see the bench down here yeah we've just had a little chat and a cuddle on this bench and we've just got up and we're just wending our way back home and uh, yeah that's somewhere I'd love to be just turn back time and that would be us just walking along that nice street there. <sighs> I've gone all romantic. <laughs> Don't tell hubby, he'll think I've gone daft. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these drills. Okay. How many colours did we have? Let me see it on the back. There is 29. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. There is a 29 colours. So we've got 29. Is the DMC codes on the packets or is it just on the canvas? Let's have a look. No, there's no DMC codes on the packets. It is just on the canvas on the back. So if you do like to keep your spares, then uh, yeah, you've got. Uh, your DMC codes on your canvas there. Uh, right, so each uh, canvas does come with its own unique uh, code on the bags. So if for whatever reason you did lose one bag, if you'd got started cutting them out and you dropped one down the settee, uh, then you would be able to then match it up with the others because this is the code number is on each of the separate bags and it's the same with all of their canvases. Well, a unique code. Right, let's see if we can find where they start. Oh, we'll start at this end. <laughs> so with a lovely aqua blue and some rusty browns and a chestnuty brown, very autumnal. And a green and another brown and a couple of lovely blues. And a nice red wine colour and a pale blue and a bit darker blue. Oh, and that's oh, there's not many of those. That's one of my favourites. That's like peppermint uh, green, peppermint cream green, and like a lemony colour and a couple of oranges. Oh, look at those oranges. They're just gonna go together so well. Craft, but it do do with the depth of colouring. And they're charting really well on their pictures. And it just gives you that higher depth. And again, they so they are resin drills. So, and purple. And like a rusty red. And some more fawny browns. And a black. And another lilac. Wow, there is a lot of drills here. And then we have... That might be 3865 that's a white and then do blues in various colors and a purple and a green and then they are probably B I'll we'll have to look they're possibly the black so the other one I saw was possibly a darkish blue or like a navy blue and then another blue so lots of lovely colors 
so what's this just check on that one so that one is a and that one is b so let me have a look on the key code all right so ah, i was right so this one is the 310 black so i was right on that one and these are 3371 which is a very very deep brown color so two packets of those so that's going to be the main background okay so that's canvas number one in the box and let me just get canvas number two okay so again in another box they've come very well packaged so that they've not got uh, damaged in transit which is good because we don't want any squished canvases canvas number two is a little 30 by 30 this is a smaller one and this one is oh Oh, <laughs> it's that way up because it's hung upside down. <laughs> this is the two-toed sloth. And they're normally, I think, 19 99 these. And I managed to get this with discounts for £10.80. pence. So very pleased with this one. Another bargain. I don't like a bargain. So, yep, yeah, your lovely packaging again. Great as gifts, these, you know, you, you just, oh, sorry, a bit of glare there. Uh, yeah, I mean, if somebody's just starting out or even if somebody bought me this, I would think it's fantastic. I think this is going to be a partial as well, because I don't think that face is going to be down and painted, but we'll have a look. And again, your lovely packaging, real professional, really lovely. Good job. I do like these. Okay. Let's get into this one and have a look. And it's packaged the same as the other one, so you get a nice box. And then, oops, it's in a great big plastic bag, but not quite as big as the other one. Okay, so where's my opening? Our drills there, lots of greens. Look at that lovely bright green there. Wow. Okay. Toolkit. Looks like the same toolkit. Same instructions and information leaflet there. And this one has the oh, this one's only 15 colours. So you can see there, and it looks like are we all capital letters? Yep, yeah, we're all capital letters on this one. Again, we've got DMC codes all the way down. Nicely framed, good quality frame there. And look at that. Look at that little face. So it's sort of a full drill. It is completely covered here. But the face, because doing a painting this size, if you tried doing the expression in those eyes and that little nose with little round gems, they only do do round uh, diamond paintings then you would lose it, it wouldn't look right. So what they've done is they've left the face as um, just the canvas, as the painting, and it looks like the claws there, the two toes, for the two-toed sloth, um, yeah, they've left those as well. But everything else you do cover in your gems, and this will really sparkle. And I don't think I mentioned on the other one, they do leave sort of a couple of drills width, so probably about half a centimetre, on the edges there you can just see oh sorry a bit of glare again uh you can just see there so you don't have any drills on the edges it just makes the picture pop that little bit and uh, yeah again there's no writing or anything on any of the edges and it's all done in a color to match the painting so oh, how beautiful is he uh, i know my yeah, youngest granddaughter loves sloths and hubby loves sloths so there might be a bit of a fight as to who, who, who gets this one. <laughs> Looks like we've got an identical toolkit, so I won't go through that again. You have seen that one. Um, but yeah, nice uh, squishes and pens and your little pot of wax. I don't like the little pots. I do like the toolkits. I know some people don't like getting them, but particularly when you get one like that, I feel like it's an extra little present with my, with my painting. <laughs> Is that just me? <laughs> Okay, let's get into these if I can find the end. Come on. I like to hide them from me. Okay, 
and it's a lovely manageable 30 by 30. Oh, we didn't measure the other one, did we? We'll quickly measure this one though. They are usually true to size. So yeah, 30 centimetres that way, which is 12 inches. And 30 centimetres that way, which is 12 inches. So yeah, so I apologise for the um, shadows. The brain went then, I'm thinking about the sloths. And I would just want to give that a little cuddle look at that little face. This is funny it being upside down. Can you see it better that way up? <laughs> I'll have to be careful if I do keep this one and hang it up um, as to which way around I hang it. I should think somebody will walk in and say, you've got your picture upside down. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we've got DMC codes there. So they're not on the drills, they are just on the canvas. And again, a unique number there for the canvas on every bag. So we have some lovely browns and peaches, darker browns, and like a mocha colour. And oh, that's a big bag of green. I think they're going to be the background colours. Two big bags there, and some more greens and some. So it's mainly sort of peach and green and brown. This. No pops of big colour in it, but I think once it's all done, it's going to look really pretty and really cute. I think you can see, this is what I like about Craft Buddy, it's, you've got three, what, what four colours in the fair there. So that just gives you the depth from the charting as to uh, getting your colours all nice there and just making it pop that little bit more, stand out real 3D. Okay, so we have one 40 by 50 canvas and one 30 by 30 canvas. Both animal themed look. We have got a dog in this one, so it's not just a landscape. It has got a dog and a little cute sloth. Oh, do like them. Okay, well, if you've got any questions, if you want to pop them in the comments down below, and if you have enjoyed seeing these, this sloth's going to escape. I can see it slowly sliding off my desk. True Liz style. Uh, if you enjoyed seeing these, if you can give me a thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. And if you want to see what's coming up next and uh, see me possibly working on these, then if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. So thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.